Hi everybody, welcome to St. Mark's Anglican Church. This is a wonderful day in the church. Today is the third Sunday, third Sunday. of Advent. It is December the 13th in wow. the year of our Lord, 2020. It's a wonderful day. And today is kind of a fun day, Barb, because it? it's a fun day because today we don't light a blue candle. We light a pink candle. Ooh, Ooh we light a pink candle today. It's, it's a little lighter because we're getting closer to Christmas. Uh -huh. The third week, we're, we only have one more week of Advent to go, and then it's Christmas. And it's also a day where we remember Mary, the mother of Jesus, and oh. we give thanks to Mary. And Mary's color throughout history has often been pink, okay. pink or blue, but oftentimes pink mm -hmm. because she was often, I think that's where we get the blue and the pink of, you know, baby clothing and yes. all that yes. kind of stuff. That's probably um, it. That's probably where it comes from. It's the church throughout the years um, had pink kind of as, as the color for Mary. But as we come together, I greet you in the name of God who loves us all. And we're going to light our third candle. I'm going to ask okay. Barb if she would light the third candle. Sure. And we've got our Thank blue you. sheets, which talk about... Oh, hang on a second. Oh, no, right. We have our blue sheets, which talk about the prayer for the third candle of Advent. The first two candles in our Advent wreath are lit again to remind us of God's gift of hope and peace. Today we will light the third candle, the candle of joy. As we wait for Christmas, the birth of Jesus, we look forward to the joyful celebrations we will share with those we love. The prophet Zephaniah calls us to shout for joy because God will gather all people and renew them in love. We remember when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the angel told the shepherds not to be afraid because they brought good news of great joy, which shall be to all people. Paul reminds Christians, rejoice in the Lord always. The third candle reminds us of our joy in the coming of Jesus Christ and our joy in the anticipation of the second coming when joy will be fulfilled for all. There it goes. And together we say, God, God of, joy, of joy, thank you for your promise of joy. Help us to recognize the moments of joy in our lives and to live joyfully so that others may come to be filled with the joy that comes from following in your way. Amen. And Andrea, Paul's letter to the Corinthians talks about rejoice in the Lord always. Do you remember that song we used to sing, Rejoice in the Lord Always? I do. Again I say rejoice. I do. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. Rejoice. I remember that. How about if we Target sing it and we try and sing it as a as round? A round. Okay. That's always fun. That's always fun. Let's try and sing it as a round. Do I start? Um, that would be great if you I, I think start. I start. Yeah. Okay. Rejoice in the Lord always again. I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always again. I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice again. I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord, rejoice again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord, rejoice again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord, always again, I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice again, I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice again, I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice again, I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, again I say rejoice. Yay. Yay. That's a good one. That is a good one. It's always fun to sing. Yes. It's always fun to sing. I never get to sing. I, yeah, I know, I know, yes. I know, I know, that's crazy. Well, from last week, we, we have our 
what he's, you see right behind Andrea is our peace dove, our peace dove, and our Saint Nicholas on your tree. On I hope it's on your tree too. And from the first week, we have our Advent wreath, which is looking very pretty. And now we have three candles lit. The three really candles. great, really great. And Barb is going to continue to tell us the story, the story of joy. On the third week of Advent, that begins on December 13th, we light the only pink candle in the wreath. We call this candle Godat. Sure. And that is another word for joy. One of the readings of scriptures appointed for today is from a letter of the Apostle Paul to his friend saying, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Other traditions called this pink Sunday, the Sunday of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And so our story continues. Until a friendly innkeeper said they could use his stable, Mary laid down and Joseph made her as comfortable as he was able. Mary's child was born that night as God watched over them. She laid him with joy in a manger in that little stall in Bethlehem. Meanwhile, shepherds guarding their sheep out in the fields nearby saw an angel suddenly appear in the sky. Don't be afraid, the angel said. My news will bring you joy. The Savior has been born this night, God's little baby boy. Wow, it's a joyful, it filled is a story. Joyful, it joyful is time. wonderful. Do you know in your Christmas package for the third week of Advent, this December the 13th, we thought we would celebrate one of the characters in the story. And, okay. And we would, we would make some angels. And so there are lots of ways to make angels. But in your angel kit, you will see two, oh, two little doilies cut in half. They make one doily if you do that. <laughs> if you have extra doilies, you can make extra things. So two of those, we had a little piece of, um, what's that called? Pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner. Gold pipe cleaner. Gold pipe cleaner. Mm -hmm. And then we had a piece of color uh, that, that could be hair. And then a little round, and your round thing doesn't have a face on it. So you have to make the face of the angel because... This yeah. angel looks like she's happy and sleeping. <laughs> and then we have her dress, her beautiful angel dress. And so then nice. there's a big stick. So you can have your angel flying, mm. flying around. And so the only thing that's missing there are the wings. And so you can put the wings right up on the top. And so those, I think we should glue those on. You can glue those on. Um, <laughs> um, but I do have a, a little bit of a tip. If mom and dad have a glue gun, a hot glue gun, it's easier to, um, to use a hot glue gun to hold everything in place. And so hot, put a little hot glue on the stick. And that way they'll stick a little easier. But that's that's your angel. And if not, a part, probably a really good piece of tape. Would, a good would piece work. of yeah. tape would work too. Yeah. But and that's, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? That's the angel Gabriel. Gabriel was her name. Yeah. Coming yeah. down to spread the news. She she now who did she talk to? She talked to the shepherds in the mm -hmm. fields. But even before that, do you know she who talked else? to? Joseph. She talked to Joseph too. And Mary. And Mary. Yeah. She, 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 was, was, she got around. She was a very, very important person. She was. The angel. Angel. <laughs> angel. In, angel in the story. Yeah. Some people can be, sometimes my mother used to call me an angel. And sometimes <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> I think well, we're all like that. I think we're all like that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sometimes we have angel days, don't we? <laughs> we have angel days. So the other craft that's in your kit is something called a stand-up manger scene hmm. and in the manger you need to help color them in but we have some characters in here let's see let's see uh do we have uh who is this 
Oh, no, no, this one. This one is, guess who that is? That's Mary. Mary. So she's in our manger of scene. Uh-huh. And now what color would you, co you color her? What color? I think she's usually in blue. Yeah, she's, she's usually, usually in blue. She's usually wearing a blue robe. Yeah. But Isn't you can color, color her whatever, whatever you color like. you want. Yeah. yeah. There's so that Mary. she stands up. And then this guy was pretty important too. He made he's sure Joseph. that he's Joseph. He made sure that Mary got safely to mm -hmm. Bethlehem and the place where they were counted, kind of like a head tax. Mm -hmm. And they were counted. And then who should come and visit but one of the shepherds. shepherds. And there you see that. Remember, remember when we were talking about Nicholas last week? And he had something that looked just like this, didn't he? Yeah. What did they you call it? A crook? A crook. Yes. And you know what? Andrea told me. Mm -hmm. Andrea told me. What is it? This place right here? The bend in a grand piano was called the crook of the piano. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is that what, because Oops. people sing from there? Yeah. People, when you're singing with the piano, with the pianist, you stand there. And it kind of makes you feel safe. And it, it's the same thing as a bend, right? And the crook is a is a bent, a bent staff. piece of wood. Yeah, exactly. So it bent makes sense because there's quite a deep curve there. But it, and it, it does that. make you feel kind of tucked in there. It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. As a kid, I have to make my <laughs> confession. I used to stay up and watch Dean Martin. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't remember that, but I Dean do. Martin used to come out <laughs> and jump. Window. On the grand piano. And jump? On he the would grand jump on the grand oh, piano every night. That. So there's the what we call the Holy Family, Mary and Joseph, and wait, one more, and the baby Jesus. Oh, of course we need the baby and Jesus. And here's here's a little lammy. A little oh. lammy. So there's the Holy okay. Family with a little bit of sheep. And when you and when you color all of these in. It's gonna look so look pretty, so, so nice. pretty. Yeah. I so that will be. That. And you know what we call that when it's all together? It's called a crush. Yeah, mm. crush. C R E C H C H E. No. Yeah. Yeah, C E. I think, so. I think it's C. <laughs> C H E. C H E. And you those are. That's a story. And so when someone comes to visit your house and, and they say, what's that? You can say, that's the story of the birth of Jesus. Yes. Mary, the mother, and Joseph, and the shepherd and the sheep, they were all there wow. on that night that Jesus was born. Wow. Yeah. That will look so nice. That will look Alongside so your Advent. Advent wreath. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you this week was in your package are... Um, a, num a little folder that has a number of sheets in it. And for some of you who are older, you might want to do a word search or a crossword puzzle, oh, or wow. you might want to make oh wow three-dimensional um, decorations. decorations. Cool. And the, um, cool. the uh, instructions for that are that you color the two of them and put them at right angles uh -huh. and they become um, something for your tree. Nice. tree. And then there's also a find all the animals in the picture. Oh, 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 that'll be fun. That'll be oh, fun. I won't show you. You won't, don't, don't show me that don't, one. Don't show you. I, oh, I can see one right now. Yeah, I can too. Well, anyway, that's a fun one. this is the third Sunday of Advent, the day of it peace. Is. And we give thanks for the joy that comes on this third Sunday. And let's share that prayer that Jesus taught all of his friends together as we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May your heart be filled with joy and know that you are loved by God. 
the peace of God and the passing of all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Shall we sing our people of East? Sure. We should sing our hymn. And I lost my hymn book again. Where did I put it? 1991. 91. There we go. There All right. There. there it is right there. All right. Let's sing, people of East. <laughs>